Now let's go back to the other causes of AIDS. So it's not only street drugs, but medical drugs, but now three is radiation. Whether they worry about it, Chernobyl and Nagasaki and Hiroshima. But number four is chemotherapy. Number four. The number four cause of death of acquired immune deficiency diseases. Chemotherapy. And the most toxic chemotherapeutic drug of all times, AZT, is what they're now using to treat AIDS. And the Concord study completed last year. Now, can you imagine saying to the world, where was the press? Where are you people? Here, they're giving a drug that costs thousands of dollars a year, and it doesn't do any good? That's if you want to believe that. But did anybody here bother to look at the insert, the paper that comes with the drug? It's a DNA terminator. It means it is a terminator, just like the movie. It terminates life. You terminate DNA, you terminate life. And they talk about side effects in the insert. When are you going to learn there is no such thing as a side effect in medicine? It's an unwanted direct effect. And you know what one of the unwanted direct effects of AZT is? Lymphoma, cancer, one of the diseases of AIDS, as they call it. Oh, another so-called side effect, which is really an unwanted direct effect, pancytopenia. You need a definition? Pancytopenia, pan, all, cyto, cells, penia, loss of, loss of all your cells. That's AIDS. That is the definition of AIDS. So AZT, by definition, by their own drug insert, causes AIDS, and nobody survives AZT. That will eventually lead to your death. And they've cut the dosage way down because it was killing them too fast. It's like giving somebody a large dose of strychnine and they die within five minutes. And so the next person, you give them a, a, a few drops of it and they last four or five days and you say, strychnine's a wonderful drug. This person lasts five times longer. This is the kind of thing that they present to the world. 